Hey everyone, it's me. So today I'm doing a spa and pamper yourself type of video and this is a collaboration with K-Star Couture and I'll have her link and her video in the description so make sure to go check out her. And also I just wanted to say that some people had exams, some still have them and it's time to pamper yourself from all the stress. So click and watch my video. So for this first facial mask you will need olive oil, some sea salt, and the first thing that you're going to be doing is pouring some olive oil into there and then putting some sea salt into the container and then you're going to mix it all together because that is the best part and you want to just pick the consistency that is right for your skin because what you're going to be doing is getting all the dead skin off of you and opening that new layer of skin to open your pores and clean off your face so you have a fresh, nice face. But are you feeling anything at all? So for the next facial mask, you're going to be using peaches and honey. And what you're going to be doing is taking the peaches and mashing them with your hands because it's just so much harder to mash them with anything else. So like I just used my hands to get all the stuff off. And then I took the skin off of it as I mashed it just to get like a little bit of the pulp. But the juice is like the most important part. So I just did that for like a really long time. And if you want, you can always find something else to mash it with, but I tried a couple things and none of it worked, and this was just so much nicer, and I got to play around with my food, which I usually don't do. Now you're just going to pour like one to two spoonfuls of honey, and then mix it around, and you're just going to mash it a little bit more, mixing it together, because the consistency is kind of how you guys want for all these different facial masks, so I just suggest that you do whatever you want, and have fun with it. So as you can see, I'm just mixing it a little bit more, and I'm mixing it. And now I'm just putting it all over my face. As you can see, a little bit of the pulp and stuff like that got on my face, but it was pretty fun to apply all this stuff on my face, and my skin feels so open and amazing after this. It felt so good, and it wasn't sticky afterwards. And the next thing you're going to do is a strawberry facial mask. And so you need strawberries, light brown sugar or just brown sugar. And you're just going to mash them together and I really, I don't even know what this thing is called, but you will be using, I used one of those things and they are just so easy to mash things up. And it didn't work for the peach though, so that's just one thing. But it worked for the strawberries and the brown sugar and it was so nice because it just mashed it all together and you wanted like a little, a perfect like consistency of kind of like a, a jelly except a more watery jelly if that makes sense. And it has like a little bit of sugar so it's nice. And I just put another chunk of the sugar, the brown sugar in it because I think it needed a little bit more and it tasted and smelled really good. Like I didn't mean to taste it but some got in my mouth. So then I applied it all over my face and it looks a little bit gross like I'm bleeding but that's you know, it made my face feel really good once again. So next I need an apple, some honey, a grater or shaver thing, and you're just going to grate the apples and then pour them into the bowl, and you're going to peel the apples also, but you can just kind of grate it all and then take off the apple peel. And you're just going to put that all in a bowl and then you're going to put some honey into it. So I took four to five spoonfuls of honey, but you can choose as many different types of honey um, or as much as you want or as little as you want. But I actually lost the footage of me applying this to my face, but I promise I did and it felt amazing like all the rest of them. And the next one is a moisturizer and cleanser and this has lemon, honey, and almonds, but you actually want shaved almonds. so. If you don't have those, then I just used a shaver for them. But now I'm going to put some honey into a bowl as the base, basically. And I took about a spoonful. And then I'm going to take the shaved almonds, and I just used like this cheese parmesan grater that they use in Olive Garden. And that is all for this facial, but all you do is just keep mixing it, and then you're just going to apply it to your face. But I hope that you guys go and check out K-Star Couture, because she is amazing and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video like this video comment rate and subscribe I hope that you guys pimp yourselves and if you guys want to tweet me a photo I'll have all the information down below by the way there's a lot of honey in all of this so the reason there was so much honey was because honey is really good for your face 
and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Love you guys to pieces. Adioso. Bye. That was a really bad bye, but you know, love you guys. Mwah.